Okay, I got a little bit of a problem here. So I was in my room, just minding my own business, and all of a sudden, the light went out, and I thought, oh great, the power's gone. Then when I realised everything else was still on, I realised it was the light that had gone wrong. So I jiggled the light about, thinking maybe it was a loose connection or something, and this fell out. And that goes right in there. So at this point, I was holding the light in one hand at the end that had fallen out. It was still connected to this end. Trying to fire up, but of course could not because, well, it's not connected there anymore. And of course, with just one end connected and only one filament on, you know, that's just not going to happen. So, I've got to get this out, put that end back together, and put the light back in. But at least there's enough light coming in from the window which I've boarded up with papers to stop the sun getting in and making this room like an oven like it always does. Some people might be horrified at my wiring, but I know what I'm doing. I also might take this one down because I'm not using that and I've just basically parted that out because I cannot get four foot tubes anymore. Or ones that fit into that anyway. Or ones that fit into that anyway. I hate the way my voice does that. Now, I'm not stupid, I have turned the power off, but just to be absolutely safe, using an insulated screwdriver here to get these wires out. And the one's connected right at this end. Get that out. Not exactly sure which screw they're connected to. Ah. Well. It was a bit more serious than I thought. See, I thought this part just snaps onto this part and it'd just come off, but actually, this is all one part of a whole thing. And one of the other tabs has snapped off. This old plastic is so brittle. It goes in there like that. I need both hands free to do this. I'm going to have to glue this back together. Wow. Well, I hope this holds. Another small problem is these little um, clips. They're so brittle, they just keep breaking off. I don't quite know what I'm going to do about these. Maybe I'm just going to come up with some other ingenious solution here. Okay, this is back together now. I've just put a little bit of tape around it just to add a little bit of support while the glue continues to set. And well, I've got to try and get this back up into there. And I've got no means of actually keeping it up there, so I don't actually know what I'm going to do. Okay, well, this might not be the most elegant solution, but it's pretty much all I can do on such short notice. Now this is only temporary until I can get a new light fixture. But I think this will work. Now all I've got to do is connect the wire back up. Now I should state that I should point out that this is not a how-to video and I'm no expert on DIY. So don't take this as a how-to video because it isn't. It's more of a blog. Yeah, that's in. Now let's see if it works. Oh, tubes back in. Do we have light? Yes, we do. Oh no, wait a minute, we don't. I was just expecting it to work. Right, I really don't know what's going on. So I'm just checking that we do have a connection to the internals of the light. Now I know the first thing it goes into is an 8 microfarad capacitor. And you can see on the meter we're reading 9.61 microfarads, so that's a little bit out of spec but still within tolerance. So, I know that's going. Oh well, it looks like I found the problem. Staring me right in the face and I didn't even see it.
mystery is though, how come the multimeter measured the capacitor when it wasn't even connected? Oh well, at least I know what's wrong. Okay, well, I've just been through with my meter, making sure that we have continuity throughout the whole thing. And we do. So, I don't think there are any bad connections. I think we found the bad connection. You see, fluorescent lights are a series circuit, so if one connection breaks, the whole thing doesn't work. You know, kind of like Christmas tree lights. Alright, so I've got the tube back in, and I'm just going to give it a brief power up while it's on the bed. Now, this is very dangerous, but I'm going to connect the ends of these wires into this plug here. And I've had to set the camera down while I do this. If it lights up, good. If it doesn't, damn. Ah, there we go. Bit of a dodgy connection there, but we have lights. It lives. All right, I gotta get this back up now. Success. The light is back. Not a bad job if I do say so myself. And yes, I will remind you that I'm not an expert. This is not a how-to video. And this is only a temporary solution until I can get a new fixture. But yeah. Don't know why this meter was giving me false readings though. Measuring a capacitor that wasn't even connected. But yeah.